Hip dysplasia is a polygenic disease, so multiple genes are linked and the consequence is that the shape, the conformation of the cup, the acetabulum and the femoral head are not normal. And so what that means is they're not congruent, it's not a good fit. And once you don't have a good fit, once you don't have a deep ball and socket joint, joint it's more, uh, rather than a deep ball and socket joint, it's more of a cup and saucer, then you start to get that femur moving around, it's causing wear and damage to the head of the femur and you end up damaging the cartilage. Damage to the cartilage doesn't replace with cartilage, it replaces with bone. So now you have this lumpy bumpy bone and that's osteoid, so that's osteoarthritis. Almost always it's a genetically related disease. Anyone can damage a joint so trauma can cause damage to a joint and that damage to a joint can result in arthritis. But in dogs, most times hip dysplasia is a genetic disease, so it's not related to trauma. Trauma may exacerbate it, but it was, you're genetically coded or genetically wired for that to happen. Well, unfortunately, we haven't done the domesticated dog many services from an orthopedic perspective, and so you really can't prevent it. If it's genetically coded, it's going to happen, but indeed it does happen more in purebred, pure breed dogs. We advise clients to manage the disease, and so you manage the disease with uh, regular exercise, with weight control and weight management, but arthritis is insidious, it's progressive, it's ongoing. So our goal of anything uh, medical is to not, we can't stop arthritis, we can't reverse arthritis, we can only slow it down. So we're trying to manage it and slow it down. You manage it with simple things. If that is not working, if the disease is progressing too quickly, then typically they get oral medication. Um, there are new therapies that we can inject into the joint, stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, those sorts of things. If or when those therapies are, are not helping the dog as much, their quality of life is starting to diminish, their muscle mass is starting to diminish, then we consider surgical options. And there are several different surgical options to buy us time or to definitively fix things, which is basically a total hip replacement. So there are many, many options and many stages as the disease progresses to, to how to manage them.